Okay, so I have some updates on a few things. Um, first off, with that medication I was taking, I think it's Vora, Voriconazole is what they call it. Um, like I said, I got my CT scan back. It looked like the mass of my lung had shrunk a little bit. It's still there, but it went down by, you know, a few centimeters each direction. Um, and I got a call, I think it was yesterday or the night before from the pharmacy. And they said that to reduce, because I was taking, and here's Gideon. He's over here. I'm at my parents' house right now. You can sit right here. Can't be right in front of the camera. Um, I was taking a pill and a half twice a day. They told me to cut it down to one pill a day, uh, one pill each time. So tw one pill twice a day instead of one and a half pills. Um, and I have been noticing, it's not gonna show up on, the only, getting in, is I got little reds, like almost, okay. I'll let you sit, can you sit right here? Little red scabs, like just on my forearms. I'm both, okay, you're gonna lay right there. I know you're gonna poke your head in front of the camera. Uh, just the tiniest, like, I knew you were gonna do that. So that's the only thing I'm really seeing. So hopefully those go away since they reduce the, uh, the amount of I'm taking. Boy, you're being a pain right now. The reason he's here is I usually, cause I come over here every day, usually leave my home, but they're doing an inspection of my apartment right now. And I just didn't want him there cause he, he's super friendly. And if they come in while I'm there and they're gonna be opening the slider, they're gonna be checking everything. I just didn't want him running out or anything. So that's why I brought him over here which I don't know if they're coming today. So he'll probably have to come here with me every day this week until they come, but he's fine here. He doesn't try to run away. He's out on the deck right now. He could run out in the yard if he wanted, but he doesn't. Okay, so pill I'm taking, move that down. I just got a call. So then they scheduled a blood test. I think I said in the last video for Thursday and I was thinking, okay, I probably wasn't gonna hear anything before then. My parents are going up to the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan after that. I figured I can probably go too. So I was already making plans, letting everyone know I'm going to probably be coming up there. I don't know how many days. And then they called me this morning. They're like, so they're going on Saturday. And they're like, they called and said, we need to have, have you see your doctor, um, the, my transplant doctor on Monday at 2 p.m. I'm like, okay, to go over everything, the plan. I said, so when do you think the transplant's going to take place? They said, probably right now scheduled uh, for Wednesday, that following Wednesday. So they'll, I think they'll call me later on today to let me know for sure. I was like, oh, shoot. But I think I can still, I'm gonna plan on going up to the UP for go Saturday, Sunday, leave Monday morning and go directly from the you know, location straight to my appointment at 2 p.m. And then enjoy the next day or so until I have to go in for the transplant. So that's the plan right now. So at least I get a little time, uh, a little two day vacation, spend some time with the grandson, go out on the pontoon boat on the lake. Can't do a whole lot, but still enjoy, enjoy a few days. And you don't have to stay home, you can't go. Uh, and then the transplant, which I'm a little nervous about because I don't know how it's gonna go. Um, obviously it wipes out your, all your immunity. So you're really susceptible to getting sick really, really easily. And with that infection still in my lung, like it's not going to be gone. You know, I don't know what, what that's going to do. Is that going to, you know, turn into pneumonia while I'm there? Obviously they'll put me on antibiotics and, and treat it and just got me a little nervous, this whole stem cell transplant process also because once that's done then I think I mentioned in a previous video then you kind of know how much time you have left and how quickly that cancer comes back you know obviously there's been people that have gotten stem cell transplants and gone 20 years in remission um, I don't think mine's gonna be that long because they said it's super aggressive I'm nervous that it's not even gonna last a year that I'm gonna be you know, going through this whole process of, you know, restrictions, not being able to do stuff, eating certain foods, staying away from people. And before it even 
gets to the point where I'm healthy again, where I can start and go on doing stuff that the cancer is going to come back, then they're going to have to do the next stem cell transplant, which will last only half the amount of time of a remission. And then who knows what happens after that? Because I have a feeling with the way things went in the beginning, when I first got this cancer, it attacks, you know, it, it causes tumors in my back around my spine and stuff. And they're super painful. And that's the worst part is I know the last, whenever it is, the last months, you know, whether it's six months, two months, are going to be super painful. Obviously, even if I'm a morphine where I won't be able to walk, um, be in bed, won't be able to do anything. So I'm not looking forward to that. But hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, the stem cell transplant takes place and everything goes well. And... I'm in remission for years. That would be best case scenario. I just, the way everything's gone for me, that everything that's gone wrong could go wrong, that I just don't see it happening. I don't even think I'm probably gonna make it a year in remission, but we'll find out. So that's where we're at right now. I'll let you know as we get closer to the end of the week, if I find out if a, a, an actual date, if it is Wednesday and keep you updated on that. Thank you guys all for watching, being there, for your comments, for your emotional support. It means a lot to me. I read them all. Even if I don't respond to you, I read all the comments. Thank you very much. And we'll let Gideon here say goodbye. You want to say goodbye? And your little buddy over there. Mango, your cousin. They get along.